Husband and I were together for 11 years. Then I found out he's been seeing other woman for 10 years and has two kids with her. After messaging her I decided to confront him. I've been married to my husband. We're both 30, for 5 years, and we've been together for 11. Our relationship felt like something out of a romantic comedy. Always stuck in that honeymoon phase. Sure, we had our dull moments and the occasional rough patch. But I never in a million years expected this. Yesterday, I was browsing Pinterest on my husband's phone, trying to find a recipe, when a message popped up from a contact saved as internet company. Weird, right? Especially since it was a video. Curiosity got the best of me, so I clicked on it. The video showed a little girl calling him Dada with a woman in the background, clearly thrilled. I was in shock. I scrolled up through the conversation, and there it was, tons of messages. They talked about everything. When he'd come by, whether he could pick up Kelly, not her real name, that day, daycare arrangements for Dina, also a pseudonym, date nights, the works. I felt like I was living in a nightmare. I found the woman on Facebook and that only made it worse. Seeing her profile cemented the harsh reality. I desperately tried to convince myself that maybe these weren't his kids. Maybe he was just cheating with a woman who had kids. God, please let it just be that he was cheating. But nope. This woman had two daughters, worked in an office, and posted about her kids and her dinner plans every single day. I needed air, but instead I messaged her. What she told me was far worse than I ever could have imagined. Those two little girls? Both his. One was 11 months old, and the other was four. I was already losing it at the thought of him cheating for four years. Until I asked how long it had been going on. 10. Freaking. Years. They had been together for a whole decade. He'd led a double life for 10 years, and I can't even wrap my head around it. She had no clue either. He always told her he lived away because of work. And guess what? He visited them every single weekend. The kicker? I work 16-hour shifts on weekends, so I'd be home in the afternoon, exhausted, and pass out without even realizing what was happening. She sent me countless photos and videos of them as a family. I just can't process it. How could he do this to me? How could he live like this? Why would he hurt me this way? We'd been trying for a baby for the past four months. I was so thrilled at the thought of us going through this journey together, but I was dead wrong. It wouldn't have been together at all. Now I'm just relieved I'm not pregnant. I can't even begin to picture living through this nightmare while carrying a child. I can't get over it. I feel like a total fool. How could I not have seen the signs? Why wasn't I suspicious about never seeing him on weekends? Why didn't I question all those so-called business trips? And what kind of idiot doesn't ask about a ton of messages from an internet company? What the hell was I thinking? Why did he waste all those years of my life? Why did he choose to hurt me like this? Why the hell would he do something like this? I don't even know how to confront him. I can't sleep. I can't even stand to be near someone who would pull this kind of crap. Someone who would betray me like this. My heart feels shattered into a million pieces. There's no brushing it under the rug. My entire life has been a lie, and I don't know how to pick up the pieces. I have no clue how to even begin moving forward. Update. I haven't confronted him, after dozens of comments advising me not to. Me and the other girl, I'll give her a fake name now I guess, so let's call her Jenny. No her name is not Jennifer, have been talking, she has agreed to not confront him only because we are married. I did in fact learn that my husband was supporting this other family of his, and apparently Jenny makes a very low paycheck, so she was and is financially dependent on him. Me and Jenny also got two sides of my husband. Me and my husband's life was eerily good? I guess you could say, never had any huge arguments. In fact we rarely argued ever, and if we did, it was usually about me wanting him to get a different job, because I was led to believe he was only making 31k a year, which is super low for his occupation. We had an amazing intimate life, all the normal couple bases, but apparently, he wasn't so nice to Jenny. He was far more distant, literally also. Yelled at her all the time, treated her like trash, only for him to bring her amazing gifts and take her out on amazing date nights and tell her how much he loved her the next week. What the hell? But that's not it. He loves his daughters oh so much, even though he's screwing over their mom, and acts like such a good father. That makes me mad, like super mad. I can't even fathom why. He's not 100% trash, shouldn't I be happy? But I'm not, I'm so mad at him. It's eating away at me that I can't just scream at him about how horrible he is. Now, here's a whole bunch of info, to answer a bunch of questions. How didn't you notice money missing? Our finances were kept separate. We also got a prenup when we got married. How did he keep up visitation during COVID? Apparently he didn't. Jenny said that he mostly only called and FaceTimed. If she dare brought it up, he'd just hang up on her. Real good guy I know. Why were you on his phone? Gasp. Could it be? My phone was almost dead, 
So I, used his? Yes I noticed he had calls from her but she was saved as internet company so I paid little mind. Oh and funny thing is, I'm saved as spam call in his phone. Which fun fact was a joke between us because I used to call him 5 times every day during our early 20s. People used to literally call me spammy. I occasionally got mad at him, because how would he know if it was spam or not. Pretty ducking mad I didn't get weirded out faster. How didn't you figure out via social media? How did you find her? 1. I usually only use Facebook to look at stupid memes and talk to friends. 2. I had her phone number, that's how. Why didn't you text her instead of messaging her? Got this one as a private message. But I talked to her on Facebook because I didn't want him to see my number on her phone somehow. I know, paranoid and whatever. Why don't you just convert and be sister wives? Why? Why would I do that? How didn't you notice? Why did you get married so young? IDK maybe I trusted my partner of 11 years. We got married young because he wanted to, and we could. How could he have the energy to keep up a double life? I'm not him, I don't know. Honestly, it's beyond me why he would be with me and her at the same time. It makes more sense for him to have been with her full time than me. What about family? He told Jenny that he cut his family off years ago. He didn't. And Jenny grew up in foster care and was never adopted. Funny thing is, his family probably won't care that he cheated on me. They'll only care that they were dare kept away from their grandbabies. Update 2. I've moved out of our house. I'm staying with a friend. We're getting divorced. I confronted him with said friend, just simply because you never know what can happen. But at least I got some form of closure out of this. First off, he wasn't sorry at all. Didn't even ask me to stay. Just huffed and said, okay, if this is what you want. When I asked him why, he just looked up at me. Didn't say a word. I asked him how, how he could keep this up for so long. What did he say? Because you both went along with it. So of course I asked further. As many of you guessed, Jenny knew. For some odd reason she was okay with this? I still don't understand why she would lie to me instead of, I don't know, just blocking me or something. I'll admit I was upset very upset and confused. So I asked again, why would you do this? He told me that he was cheating on me with her since the beginning of our dating, that she was just a fling though, and he didn't expect either relationship to really last. But it did. Woohoo. When I asked him why to cheat in the first place, because I was young, could get away with it at that time, so why not? He ducking disgusts me. I asked why he married me instead of her. Because you were the better choice. When I asked him to elaborate, he definitely elaborated. Jenny didn't have a good job, so she was a bad investment. Yib you. Jenny was uglier. Once again EW. Jenny wasn't as good as me, she wasn't as clean as me, she wouldn't be as good of a partner as me, and so on. I asked why he would even have sex with her if he liked me better. Because she was more kinky. For your information, I am not kinky. At all, I'm very vanilla in fact. I asked about the kids of course. He clarified that the first kid was an accident. He literally did the air quotes. Jenny poked holes in a condom, which he found out about but never confronted her. Of course, I don't know if I can trust this. He had a second one with her, because in his mind, he could handle one. So why not two? What type of dumb duckery is that? When I asked about how he treated Jenny, he confirmed that he did in fact only see her on weekends, but claimed to have never treated her poorly. He said he treated her as the mother of his children and respected her as such, but never treated her as a romantic partner. Apparently she's only there to screw, not to love. At the end of it all, he asked if he could talk to me privately. I couldn't find a reason not, so I sent my friend out of the room. He told me that he still loved me and that we could work this out if I really wanted to. That he would abandon Jenny and his daughters, but still pay child support. I said no, to which he let out the most dramatic sigh I'd ever heard in my life, before saying, have it your way then. Then wearing the most smug smile I've ever seen, like he'd won the biggest battle of all time. I was left conflicted. I cried in my friend's car all the way to his house. It's like my, now ex, could just change everything with a flick of a switch. I can feel myself already wanting him back, but I'm not going back, I'm never going back. I've got a lawyer. So does he, the papers are signed, all that's left is court. I can't believe how much my life has changed this year. I went from getting giddy to go home to see my husband smile, to dreading it, hating it, wishing to never see it again. I don't know whether Jenny really knew, but I'm guessing she did. I mean how did she not know for 10 years? But that being said, how didn't I know for 10 years? Whatever. I just wanted to let you know that this is what's happened. This didn't happen recently, but I forgot about the whole post. I've got other things to worry about if you didn't notice. Haha. <laughs> I don't know what to trust. I don't even want to reach out to Jenny. I don't even want to know the truth anymore. You know Matthew, if you managed to see this, honestly, I applaud you. Congrats, you did it.
You ruined everything. You got away with it for over a decade and it's finally over. I wonder if you'll go back to Jenny or just find some other girl to trick, to destroy. All I care is that you leave me out of it. I'm looking forward to moving on and minding someone who actually loves me.